Hello everyone, this is Michael with the AA Medical Store. Today we're gonna to talk about uh, the EndoChoice Fuse system, uh, kind of some features and benefits, and then uh, later on we'll go through the setup and how it actually works. So the EndoChoice Fuse system is a full spectrum endoscopy. And what I mean by that is typical field of view for a colonoscopy or endoscopic GI procedure is about 170 degrees field of view. With the EndoChoice system, it, it allows you to have a 330 degree field of view, which then enables the doctors to, number one, see more anatomy, but also be able to detect abnormalities within the colon or the stomach for a gastroscope. The way this happens is the fuse system is built with the colonoscopy scope to have three cameras in it, uh, a right camera, a left camera and a center camera. And that'll allow you to increase your field of view. One of the things, uh, one of the biggest things in endoscopy or GI is the ADR, which is the adenomen detection rate, which is reduced being able to see 330 degrees as opposed to 170 degrees. So what we'll do is we'll turn the system on and we'll walk through it so you guys can see uh, kind of the features and the benefits of the system. And then uh, we'll go from there. So this is the actual EndoChoice Fuse system or full spectrum endoscopy system. Basically, there's uh, a couple of working components to the system. The top is your computer or the drive for the system, which will allow you to put patient information in to store images that you wanna capture from the actual scope itself. And then you have the actual fuse box, which actually runs the scope. And then for this demonstration, we've used the 65 inch 4K LED TV um, to be able to see all three images on one screen. Now, there is an ability to hook up three separate monitors and later on, what we'll do is we'll do a setup video so you can see how to set it up with the one monitor or the three monitors. So basically what you would wanna do is you would wanna turn the system on and then you would also wanna power on your fuse box. Basically what the unit is gonna do is gonna go through a warm up or a setup and then once it warms up or sets up, then it's ready to roll. It's a Windows based operating system. So it's kind of like a computer. It takes a little bit of time to get going and set up. But as you can tell on the screen itself, you have three sets of color bars. So you're always gonna have a left camera, a center camera and a right camera based on the way it's hooked up in the system. And again, later on or a secondary video will show you how to hook up the system. So that way you got a better understanding of the cables that you'll need and the things that are required to set up the system. Okay, so step one, we've got to log into the system, right? And basically it's just endo choice, all one word. The E is capital and the C is capital into the system. So basically we're gonna do endo choice and then we're gonna hit enter and it's gonna boot up, right? So, so now the device is booting up. One of the other ways you can look on the system itself is by going to the setup screen. And then once you're in the setup screen, basically you wanna to go to setup number four. And number four allows you to know that all three camera systems are gonna be working with it all wired up. So if you don't see a green box, that's typically an indication that you have something hooked up wrong or backwards. So you wanna make sure that you have the three green bars in the setup menu number four. Now the system is ready to roll. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our scope and this is a C38 scope. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the protective cap and then we're gonna plug the scope in. And then once we plug the scope in, you're gonna lock it down. But basically, as you can see on the screen now, you have three images and that's based on the three cameras on the end of the scope. So for this instance, it's gonna be the left, the center, and the right camera. Each one has its own camera. So basically it's an LED light that runs the scope itself and each camera has its own set of lights. So left, center, right. Basically now what you would wanna do at this point is you would wanna do a white balance. And basically what, 
What they have is this nice little tool that makes it all white. And then basically you're gonna push and hold the white balance and it's gonna white balance. So it's flashing white. And basically what it's doing is telling the camera that white is white. So it knows that white is white. It'll know that red is red, blue is blue, green is green. We could definitely get into a white balancing educational video on its own. But for this point, I think that's the basics for it. So you would take off your white balance cap and then obviously this is an instructional video or just kind of a brief video. We don't have an actual patient here, um, but we wanna make sure that you fully understand how the system works and why it works. So basically if I use my hand as the image, you can see on the screen that the center image is in the center and then the left image is on the left side and the right image is on the right side. So as I move in or back up, I'm definitely changing my field of view from center to left to right. Not only does this have the ability to do colonoscopies, it also has the ability to do gastroscopies. And basically with the gastroscope, the only main difference between the colon scope and the gastroscope is the fact that the gastroscope only has two cameras instead of three. So if you look, you only have the right side and you have a center. So you have a center camera and you have a right camera, which means that you're only gonna get two images on your screen. So if you have a scope that has three cameras, you'd be able to see three images. It's the same concept. You, you want that full spectrum endoscopy. And with the typical gastroscope field of view is about 145 degrees. With the full spectrum, it goes to 245 degrees. So you get a lot more viewing area and a lot more way to detect abnormalities within the gastroscope or the stomach. So basically it works the same way. You take the protective cap off of the scope, and this is a gastroscope. You would then plug it into the system, lock it down, and we're gonna add this as a procedure. But as you can tell, the right side is blacked out, and it says endo choice, and then the camera itself is on the left side and the center. So you have a left and you have a center with the light. Basically, you're gonna do the same thing as you did before. You're gonna put your white balance tool in there. You're gonna hit white balance. It's gonna white balance the camera to ensure that it knows white is white. And then once that's completed, that'll change to blue. You set that off to the side and then you can use the gastroscope. Again, these are full deflection, full angulation. It does have a suction and an irrigation port and it does also have a working channel. So again, with the Olympus system or Fujinon system, a lot of times you have those same capabilities as you would with the Endo Choice system. So as you can tell, it's the center image and then it would be the right image. And that's what it would look like. So again, you have the ability to do colonoscopies, but also gastroscopes as well. So thank you for watching this educational video series. Um, we definitely have them posted on our website. If you're interested in the system, again, you can reach out to our website and get more information. Talk to a sales rep and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the system. Uh, it's aamedicalstore, all one word, dot com. Thank you for watching and have a great day.